Zoe Pawalczak was at the parade with her father uh, when she heard those shots rang out. Thank you, Zoe, uh, for joining us. First, I, I have to, again, start with how are you and your dad doing, not just physically, uh, but emotionally? Um, this has definitely been um, a great emotional toll on both of us. Um, like you've been saying, we did not sleep at all last night. I, every time I closed my eyes, I just kept replaying it. And my dad and I just sat on the couch at about 4 a.m. I was downstairs, he was downstairs, and we just we just like hugged each other and um he went to work today actually amazingly he's like i just need to i just need to be busy mm -hmm. um but yeah it's it's just wild well just feel some sense of normalcy i i think that a lot of people want to feel like okay um you know life goes on and yet at the same time you're processing what you saw what did you see at that parade did you get a glimpse of the gunman did you see the shots did you see people hit with those bullets um, yes, yeah, so my dad and I were right in the center of the parade where um, all of the people were sitting up um, and the um, shows were happening. So we got there early before the pet and bike parade, which is when all the kids and pets go at 9.30 in the morning. And uh, we were front row center. And all of a sudden, like everyone's been describing about 10 minutes into the main parade, we just heard bang, 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 bang. And at first, everyone thought, you know, maybe it's a military salute, um, fireworks. My dad was standing, you know, trying to see the fireworks. And I, I was I was just too, the rhythm was too perfect. And I was like, this is a, someone shooting, someone shooting. And I just grabbed my dad and I said, we got to go. They're shooting, they're shooting. Um, and I grabbed him, dug, like I was just digging into his arm. And at first he's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, there are, we have to go. Did he think it was um, fireworks? He did. He thought it was just part of the parade, and I think I think everyone did. And I, I just started running, and then just I was screaming, shooting, shooting. Um, and then in the background, we heard other people screaming um, in the distance, just saying "people down." Um, and then I, I had my dad, and we ran to get into an alcove to try and hide behind, you know, some kind of brick wall or pillar, whatever we could. And um, as I looked back at my dad, right where we had just been, a girl was shot and killed. A woman um, was just shot and killed. And um, we saw her later when we ended up going into the sporting goods store to hide. We saw her. Um, she was um, unresponsive. Um, and then we were hiding in this alcove outside of a closed store. And we were just looking out at the street and just kept seeing people fall just kept people being shot over and over again and it was it was like something out of a out of a movie out of a war zone i it feels surreal i'm sure um, it's the only time you've ever seen anything like that i i don't want to re-trigger you with replaying this without ending this conversation and, and and again i wish i could talk to you for so much longer because i empathize with what you had to see but what hope do you have for this community following something like this when it when it shakes you at the core what would you like to see that will bring some sense of peace to these families um you know i don't even know where to start uh i am just so grateful for the community but i also i mean this how much more do we have to deal with this this was a small town parade like it's I've, I was a teacher for the last two years, and we had to have children with autism hiding for drills, for uh, mass shooter drills. And I just, when's it enough? When is, when can we be safe? And when, when will something change? And I just really hope it will. And I know people are always hoping, and we're always saying the same thing, but it, it needs to change. Things need to change. Things need to change. Zoe, thank you for sharing your story, and, and I do hope that you have strength and peace and, and the people that you need around you today uh, to embrace you at such a time. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.